Lesson 2.1a, Multiplying Integers Using a Number Line. The rules for multiplying and dividing integers are different than the rules for adding and subtracting integers. In the last few lessons, we've learned for addition, if we're adding a positive to a positive, our sum is positive. And if we're adding a negative and a negative, our sum is negative. And if we're adding a positive and a negative, doesn't matter which order they're in, we find their difference and take the sign of the add-in with the greatest absolute value. And for subtraction, we just add the opposite. And again, we take the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value. But here's where it's different. For multiplication and division, when we multiply a positive and a positive, or divide a positive by a positive, our answer is going to be positive. They have like signs, so the answer is positive. And negative and negative, they have like signs, so the answer is positive, whether it's the product or the quotient. When they have unlike signs, the answer is negative. doesn't matter which one's positive and which one's negative. If they have unlike signs, the answer is going to be negative. So when they have like signs, the answer is positive. When they have unlike signs, the answers are negative. Negative is the opposite of positive. When the signs are different, the answer will have the opposite sign than if the signs were the same. Negative is the opposite of positive. When these are different, our answer, whether it's a product or a quotient, will be negative. We can use a number line to see what happens when we multiply a positive number by a negative number. Sam made three withdrawals of $4 each from his savings account. What was the change of his balance? They want to know how the balance changed. So we need to find 3 times negative 4. There were withdrawals, so that's taking 4 away. That's a negative 4. He did it 3 times. We have 3 times negative 4. To show negative 4, we draw an arrow from 0 to negative 4. And 3 times negative 4 means negative 4 plus negative 4 plus negative 4. So we draw an arrow representing each negative 4. We have 1, 2, 3. That's 3 times negative 4. 3 times negative 4 is equal to negative 12. The change in Sam's balance was negative $12. Notice that when we're writing negative $12, we have our minus sign, the negative sign, then the dollar sign, then the 12. Okay? This says, a fish in the sea descended three feet four times. How far did the fish descend? We need to find four times negative three. To show negative three, we draw an arrow from zero to negative three. Four times negative three means negative three plus negative three plus negative three plus negative three. It's repeated addition. We draw an arrow to represent each negative 3. We draw 4 of them to show the sum of negative 3 plus negative 3 plus negative 3 plus negative 3. That brings us to negative 12. The fish descended 12 feet. It went down lower into the sea by 12 feet. To draw the correct amount of arrows, we need to remember that multiplication is repeated addition. Sam made three withdrawals of $4 is 3 times negative 4. We'll get the same product as 4 times negative 3, but 4 times negative 3 will show 4 arrows, because there's a 4 here, instead of the correct 3 arrows, because we have the 3 there. We can see our problem has a 3 on the outside of the parentheses. It's 3 times negative 4. We have 3 arrows to represent it. Here we have 4 times negative 3. The 4 is on the outside of the parentheses. We have 4 arrows. They both equal negative 12, but they're drawn differently. So we have to remember that it's repeated addition, and we need to draw our arrows Correctly, we need the correct amount of arrows above our number line. 
the product of two integers with different signs is negative. If we have a positive 3 times a negative 4, that's equal to negative 12. And if we have a negative 4 times a positive 3, that's equal to 12. We have different signs, our product is negative, and the commutative property of multiplication states that two or more numbers can be multiplied in any order without changing the product. We have 3 times negative 4, that's negative 4 plus negative 4 plus negative 4, that's equal to 12. But we have to be careful to draw them correctly. Here we have 2 times negative 5, and here we have 5 times negative 2. Their products are the same. This is negative 10, and this is negative 10. But they're drawn differently. 2 times negative 5 is 2 arrows that go the length of 5 units towards the negative. Brings us to negative 10. But 5 times negative 2 is going to be 5 arrows going into the negatives, and each one is the length of 2 units. We're heading to the left into the negatives. Same product, but they're drawn differently. So be very careful how you draw your number lines and your arrows. Here it's telling us to list the ways to write negative 4 as a product of integers. For the product to be negative 4, the factors must have unlike signs. It's a negative. Remember, a factor is a number multiplied by another number to get a product. So we have 1 times negative 4. That would equal negative 4. Or we have a positive 4 times a negative 1. That would be negative 4. We have a positive 2 times a negative 2 or a negative 2 times a positive 2. So the factors of negative 4 are a negative 4, a negative 2, a negative 1, a positive 1, a positive 2, and a positive 4. Remember, when numbers are next to each other and one or both are in parentheses, it's telling us to multiply. So remember to draw the arrows above your number line to represent repeated addition. We have 2 times negative 3. We have an arrow heading to the left into the negatives that represents negative 3. And we have another one because it's the same as the repeated addition, negative 3 plus negative 3. It brings us to negative 6 for our product. We're finished with 2.1a. We're going to move on to 2.1b, which is modeling integer multiplication. We're going to model integer multiplication with two different color counters. I really hope this lesson made sense to you, and you now understand how to draw the arrows for multiplying integers on a number line. Have a great day, and join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.